So someone asked me in the comments, how do you install third-party plugins using Final Cut Pro? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on how to do just that. Now it's important to note that plugins in Final Cut Pro typically come in four different categories. There's effects, there's transitions, there's titles, and there's generators. Now there are different types of plugins that fall outside of those categories, but typically with plugins like that, the developer themselves had to do a lot of different coding and using Xcode and things like that to get the plugin to do what they wanted it to do. And so usually plugins like that will offer you an installer to get it into Final Cut Pro the way that it's supposed to be. So in most cases, we're gonna be talking about plugins where you've gone to some developer's website or some plugin maker's website, and you've downloaded a zip file, but that zip file doesn't have any instructions on how to actually install this plugin into Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna actually show you how to do that now, and it's super simple. Now, to demonstrate how to install a plugin in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna actually download and install one of my own plugins. That's right, shameless self-promotion. So to do that, we're just gonna jump over here to my website, www.emerton.com, or you can go up here to products and then go to the products page where there's a couple of products here that are available. So you're just gonna scroll down here to the global adjustment layer right here. You're gonna click on that, and then you can actually download this for free. So the act of downloading this will require you to create an account because you're downloading something from my site. But after you've done that, then you'll have access to any of your plugins up here in this little product section. So if you click on that, and then when you go into your product section, you just find the plugin you wanna download and then you click on download, and then we'll download adjustmentlayer.zip. In most cases, when you're downloading a plugin from somewhere, it's going to come in this type of a format. It's gonna be a zip file or something like that. But like I said, many of the plugin developers out there who are going above and beyond and creating our own installers, you don't have to worry about any of this and this video is not really relevant for those. But if you have a plugin that's just a zip file, then you're gonna need to know how to install it. So you click on that and download your zip file. Now, after you've downloaded this file, you're going to have a zip file. It's called adjustmentlayer.zip. You're just gonna double click on that so that you can uncompress the file. And now what it gives you is this Emerton folder. Now, this is gonna be important. So what we're gonna actually do is just copy this. So we'll right click on it and we'll go to copy. And then we're gonna end up pasting this where we want. So now any plugins in Final Cut Pro are always going to be located in this specific folder. So if you go to your user folder here, mine is named Sean Foster, yours can be named whatever it's named. So you're gonna click on your user folder and then you're gonna look for the movies folder here. So you're gonna double click and go into your movies folder. So what you're gonna see in here are all of the folders that are kind of relevant for any software on your computer that's using video, things like that. And in this movies folder, you should find a motion templates folder. Now, if you don't have this motion templates folder, you need to create it. The act of creating it will tell Final Cut Pro where to look for it. So if it doesn't already exist on your computer, create this. Make sure it's with a capital M and a capital T. So it's motion templates spelled correctly. And then Final Cut Pro will know where to look. So then in here, now you're going to see that there are different folders in here, okay? There's effects, our generators, titles, transitions. And in this case, there's a compositions folder in mind, but you're not, it's not relevant right now for what we're doing. So what we're focusing on are these four folders right here. If these folders don't exist, you just need to create them. Final Cut Pro will know where to look then. It's kind of like that old movie, if you build it, they will come. This is exactly what it is. If you build the folder, Final Cut Pro knows where to find it. All we have to do at this point to install a plugin is know which of these four categories it fits into. In our case, the adjustment layer is a title plugin. So if you scroll down here on the actual product page, it'll tell you that this is a title plugin, but all you really need to know when you're installing a plugin is which type of plugin it is. In this instance, we're using the word plugin but these are actually called motion templates. So each one of these effects, generators, titles, and transitions, they're all motion templates. And all you have to do to install these is go into the specific folder that's actually relevant to the one you're trying to install. So in our case, it's titles. And then you're going to actually paste that folder in here. Now, I already have a folder in here, so I'm actually just gonna delete this so I can show you how to do it. And now all you have to do in here is paste the actual folder that you pulled out of the zip file into here. So for us, I'm gonna paste it, and it's gonna paste that Emberton folder in here. And then if I go into that Emberton folder, you can see that I have my adjustment layer plugin in here. That's literally all you have to do to install a plugin in Final Cut Pro. All you have to do is find the right folder. Is it going to be an effect, a generator, title, or transition? 
and then you actually go into that folder and you just unzip the actual plugin and drop the folder that it gives you into here. And that's it. And then inside of Final Cut Pro, you just go over here and you look for your titles tab where you're gonna have your titles and generators. And if you installed a title or a generator, it's gonna be in this area here. And then you look in your titles and then we try to find that actual folder. So in this case, it was the Emberton folder. And then here is our adjustment layer. And you can see now if I just create a new project really quick, I'll just call it test. So I have a project and let me just import a video clip really quick so that we have something to work with so I can show you. I'll just import this video clip. I'll throw it in the timeline and then I can go back to my title plugin here. And then down here, I can throw my adjustment layer on top of it and it's working. So that's all you have to do to install an actual plugin in Final Cut Pro. You just need to know if it's going to be a title, if it's going to be a generator, or down here, if it's going to be an effect that's installed, which is on this tab right here, or if it's going to be a transition. You will always find those things in either of those four areas. Now, like I said, there are going to be plugins that kind of fall outside of this paradigm, but for the most part, most of the things that you download from a third party are going to fall within one of these four different categories. So I hope that that was helpful. It's super easy to install plugins or any third party plugins into Final Cut Pro. If you come across a plugin that doesn't fall within this kind of context and it doesn't have any instructions, Put it in the comments down below so we can kind of look at it and talk about it. If there are other ways that I'm missing in this video, then feel free to call it out in the comments. But for the most part, that's going to be the way that you install plugins in Final Cut Pro. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment down below. Make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to the channel because if you're not already subscribed, subscribing is really going to help all of these different videos kind of get out to a bigger audience. As always, thanks so much for watching the video. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out that one.